y'all it's your girl jacayla a and today we're gonna do this pretty set this white cause duck nail set this is my first duck nail set i used to hate this shape but now i'm just like so obsessed with it it's my favorite thing kawaii nails it's my favorite thing right now i'm just so obsessed with all of that so i did my right hand in the last video it's already up so it's kind of making me out of frame please forgive me i'm tweaking and tweaking tweaking constantly but y'all know it's not even my video if i'm not out of frame but anyway i'm going in with my manicure bit my cuticle bit pushing my cuticles back and just getting up anything that's there for my soak off then i'm getting at my dead skin not any live tissue any live skin because i had a soak off and so it's just like all over my hands you know how that go so yeah i'm just going in with my sandy band buffing out the surface i got this uh bta uh art b a yeah bta art box of nails off amazon y'all know this nail this is like an og before the straight nails was so so popular like four years ago we all was on these and i still think this has a really really pretty shape so i have to go in with a straight nail i chose this one with a slight curve um and then i'm gonna put the duck nail as an extension to extend it i tried to put the duck nail right up against my nail and it was just too short i wanted a more extended look so on all five i went in with that tip then cut it down halfway and attached the duck tip to it you will see that i'm using my kds glue as always i love kds glue so yes i went in found my sizes going in with my craft scissors available off amazon I, that's where i got these in the two pack but i lost one of them or oh, i think i got robbed something happened um i'm gonna do a story time on that one time <laughs> about how i got robbed twice at my last week yes i will definitely be doing a story time about how i got robbed twice at my last week um but anyway just cutting them to my desired length i'm not making them exact because this is on me not on a client so i'm just eyeballing for myself if it was a client i would obviously be trying to make it precise so i'm going in trying to find the duct tip that fits most flush across if you cannot get it flush across you need to go the size down i mean the size up the duct tip if it cannot be perfectly right there then it needs to be just a little bit bigger so that you could just fill in the gaps with acrylic you don't want to have to file off extra tip you want to get it mm, as precise as possible or a little bit bigger and here i am trying to use long nails to do something to make some more long nails <laughs> that's always the hard part about doing your right hand first because then you're working with nails but when you do your right hand first, or if you're right handed and you do your right hand first, then the second hand goes faster because you can use your right hand, you know what I'm saying? So it's give and take. But I got those all down and got to let them dry fully. This was a very thin tip. These duck tips came off of Amazon um, and it was just a very thin tip. So you really got to bulk up that product. Um, not bulk it up, but it's just um, much thinner than I'm used to. Let me say that, it's thinner than I'm used to. So I'm going in with my sanding band, just trying to make the area um, the, where the free edge and the first tip meet. Trying to make that as flush as possible, not trying to go over the nail, we already did that. And trying to also blend the two tips together just so we're working as flat as possible just to give ourselves a head start this color is oh what is this color i'm gonna say that it's cherry blossom yeah it is young nails cover um cherry blossom hope that's what it's called but i do know that if it's not that i also be using flamingo and that's pretty pink i was working extremely wet here for whatever reason like i'm this is he i be cutting so many corners when it comes to myself versus when i'm with a client 
Like I be cutting so many corners to the point that I started my application before I even dehydrated and primed or to the fact that my shape might be off or to the fact that I'm working in a weird ratio that I know is not efficient. You know what I'm saying? I just be half-assing myself. But yes, I had to go back. I'm glad I remembered. Um, even though I only had these nails on for like two days. But um, yeah, I went back, I remember, and then I kept with my application. You wanna make sure that this area is nice and thick and that you see that your free edge of your extension is no thicker than two credit cards. Like imagine two credit cards stacked on top of each other. That's how thick you want your free edge to be. So yeah, like I said, I have to just, you know, build it up slowly. I also think I was working in a very cold room. I don't even think that I went to go and turn the heat on. Cause I think I was working with um, acetone in the monomer this day. So my application is just a little lazy macy. Hope y'all enjoy that. If you don't rewind, I mean fast forward. <laughs> fast forward if you're able to see through all that. We need the richest in the fucking room. We be so comfortable. Girl, it's only you for me. No lie. I don't try what they offer. They're not who I want them to be. That's not an offer to me If you're around, baby When you ain't with me, you feel alone And I was wondering if you always know It don't have to be perfect I feel like it's worth it I know now that I've been the worst But I love it better Catch a flight, change the weather And I promise forever Is that I think I was just so in my head. I was so in my head about this shape being something so different and something just a little bit out of my comfort zone that I made it a bigger deal than it was. Nothing about this shape is really difficult to lay. Um, it's literally just a different shape so don't get too psyched out about it I feel like I was a little bit and I also was a little too excited as well as I was doing them I was getting very excited seeing them and it's like oh my god these are so cute so I was just doing a little bit too much but yeah I do think that as long as you build it up it's literally giving regular like it's really nothing to it for real for real Like, I kept having to leave the frame and look at this real, real, real up close to make sure that my sides were giving what they need to give. So that's why you gotta make sure that your tips line up almost perfect or the top one a little bit bigger, not a little bit smaller. I got my 80, 80 file. Um, for the most part, the shape of this is something like a V. Um, I think that it did come out very pretty. I just need to work on it, but especially for it to be my first try, I think it was okay. I think the devil is in the details of the shape with this nail. Like you can put a whole bunch of shit on it and make it distracting, but the really pretty like bust down, bust down, real pretty sets have been so clean at the shape. And so that's really, um, to me, the make or break of this style. I love 
to see the shape be crispy. So I'm going on the edges. I'm trying to get the top real flat. And then I'm going um, across the whole surface to get the whole surface flat because I'm doing nail art and some French lines and I don't really want to play with that. You want to make sure that the surface is flat but not overdo it to you um, to the point that you're like ruining your apex. You still want to have established that and keep that. I had to go in with a sandy band on the sides because during my application I was getting some underneath and then um, the tips not being lined up. I was trying to fill in gaps and um, just all, all the mess that I was making in the application. I had to go and clean that up. Like I said, the next try I have a little bit of a better understanding and it should be a smooth, smooth sailing. I also had to get up in there because that line of demarcation was real harsh. I was noticing it. So I had to get up in there and get that up out of there. Sealed in my cuticles with this cross cut bit. I'm going to stop using this because I rediscovered how much I love my 5-in-1. And it's a lot less harsh because it's a safety. And even though this is not carbide, I'm going to just I'm gonna stay away from this. I'm going back to my 5-in-1, which I already have. I've already gone back to sealing my cuticles with my 5-in-1. I believe in it. I stand by it. Here I am with my charms after my shaping and I'm trying to decide which one it can fit on the nail and which one looks the prettiest. I also don't even know what I'm going to do at this point, but I remembered a design from Cause, like the Cause Bears, the art um, person. It's a real trendy, trendy design. That one just never goes out of style. I'm trying on the white. I'm trying on the pink. Trying on some Kirby. I go back to the white and it's like, okay, yeah, this the one. Because the nails is pink and that pink is so flesh tone, flesh toned, excuse me, that it's kind of blending in, into the base. So I said, no, nah, I need the white to pop off of the nail because the pink base is so pretty. Yeah, I do think that's a uh, cherry blossom, not flamingo. I feel like flamingo is a little bit more pink. So that's covered cherry blossom. Very pretty. I'm using my brush, liner brush that I get from Michaels. It's linked below in the description. I'm using Gelixer White. Always listing my essential and favorite products. If I forget to list anything and I used it, just ask me in the description. I always um, reply to comments, always. And then I'm just establishing my fringe, deciding how I want it to look. It's literally a personal preference. It can look any which way and still be the right way. You know what I'm saying? So I went for this more narrow type of a shape. And then just covering it in, trying to make sure to get all the sides. And then I think I had two, uh, two or three. Yeah, I think I had two French nails. So I had to do that again on a different nail. Change the weather, and I promise forever. Have to be 
perfect, I feel like it's worth it I know now that I've been the worst But I love you better I drew the little monsters on and now we're gonna put the charm on when you're putting on charm with acrylic, you always want to put some acetone in your monomer. It will just help it dry and set quicker, and you don't gotta hold it for too long. So I got some acetone in that monomer, and I'm gonna put some, well, you saw me put some of it down, just to stick the bear to the nail. And then you wanna go around the whole entire nail, 360 around the whole thing, and fill in every single little gap. You don't want no snagging, pulling, tussling with your hair, with your kids, with your, you know what I'm saying, with your life, whatever you're doing. Anything that can get up under that nail and make that charm come off and potentially crack that nail, you don't want any of that. So you got to fill in every little gap, everything. Still young, so what's the rush? Tonight is young and we not drunk enough. You'll come around if I don't do too much. We had our downs, but we had way more ups. Let's make love. That be the reason that you always hit me up. I swear, you like the way I fuck, cause I get rough. You told me your new man don't make you nut. It's a damn shame. You come here. I'm outlining the little monster and creating eyes and nose. The nose is yellow and the eyes are just black and white and the monsters are black and white. Use all that with a dotting tool and a little bit of um and a little bit of a liner brush. Easy peasy. Then we're gonna have to do our French where we have to draw a trim and the two X's um and the nail too. So you wanna trim the whole French smile line with black and then do the two X's in black. The X's really add to this design and let you know it's like a cause design because all of the creatures have X's in their eyes. It's like a part of the whole aesthetic of the art. And here I had already top coated the pinky and I'm gonna end with the croc design. I'm gonna do the one that's lifted where you literally just top coat the nail and cure it. Then you draw the croc lines, some in the middle, some to the left and some to the right. Or sometimes you could do the lines in the middle and just do dots to the left and the right on the side cause you barely notice it. So sometimes you could just go down there with dots and you use a dotting tool to do that whole design and then you put um, um, acrylic powder over the design over this design you can use a glow acrylic powder um, you could use clear most times I'll just use clear even if it's white I don't use white I still sometimes just use clear and um, once you do it one time you really want to let it sink in soon you're about to um, see but you really want to let it soak in and let the gel polish absorb that clear powder and then you want to do it again oh and yeah i just put down any little paper any little piece of paper i think this is from like a little journal book that i got so i put the acrylic over it gave it a few seconds did it again give it a few seconds do it again but it's sped up so you can't tell but you want to do that until you don't see it get glossy anymore and while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and use my IBD gel 
top coat very glossy very thick top coat would recommend and i'm gonna just put that all over the other nails because we gotta go in the light to cure them anyway came out super cute make sure y'all subscribe and like thank y'all so much for watching catch you in the next one bye